and people are living longer. So right, you have four generations of givers in a family, and you're talking about exactly what um, Shirley was talking about is we make sure that successor advisors are on every fund because we don't want to become, we know people in Kansas City like to give their money away. That's why we became a donor advised fund model. We started and thought, well, we'll become like New York, right? Where we'll give all the money away as a foundation. And we found out that people in Kansas City like to give their money away and they want that legacy to continue. So one of the things that we follow up and have a conversation about is who are your successor advisors? Have you had the conversation with your kids? Have you thought about how you're going to pass that on in your legacy? And we're doing those trainings with families so that because you're exactly right. I mean, Shirley said shoes are really important to an eight-year-old, but the arts may be really important to the Hellsbergs, you know, to the grandparents. And so it's just having that conversation and facilitating that. So that's actually a big trend that we're seeing with donor advised funds right now. And I 